Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. How do I use the BSP brushes, geometry editing, the brush clip tool? Let's go ahead and create a BSP brush in a box and we'll cover what the brush clip does. Now the brush clip is accessed in our geometry editing section under brush clip. And when we click on it, we're basically going to get two options. These ones down here are normal edit options. We're only concerned about our settings. Now our brush clip basically is a way to cut a brush alongside a edge and to give us either two different brushes as the result or to give us one brush where we clipped off part of it or a section. So we'll go ahead and check out how to do that. Now the first thing to get started with on this is you do not work in our perspective view when we're using the brush clip. We have to be in one of the orthographic views. Let's go to our top and zoom in on our character. So the easiest way to make this work is if you have something selected originally, your image, your, your brush, you may end up running into a problem. I'd recommend not selecting it. What I'd recommend doing is unselecting it and having nothing selected. It does make it a little difficult to kind of see, but hopefully you can see we have a blue outline here. In order to use the brush clip, you're going to use the enter key and the space bar. I'd actually not recommend the enter key. I'd recommend more of the apply button and I'll show you that shortly. So here's how it's going to work. Let's say we have this brush here and actually let me move this brush so it is lined up with the grid. So now it's lined up with our grid. Let's say I want to split it vertically down the middle. You can click anywhere on your grid and it will select the grid. Now hit the space bar and it will drop your first point. Now when we start moving, what you're going to do is you'll see our line and you'll see another line that's going to be perpendicular to it. If we were to drop it here and hit space, we're now going to get a solid red line with another line facing in this direction. At this point, if you hit apply, what it's going to do is nothing. It can't apply it to anything. You have no polygons selected. You have no brushes. Now we want to click our brush. Now basically we are telling it to intersect this brush in this direction. And this is actually going to be our normal line, which I'll show here in a second. We hit apply. What you're going to see happen is our left side disappeared and our right side remained. If we go to our perspective, we can now see half of a box. Let me undo this. You'll see our full box. Redo, half a box. In case you didn't know, Control Z is undo. Control Y is redo. So you can see the difference between P4 and then my brush clip. Let's undo this and go back to our orthographic. Now, if I wanted to change this, I would basically hit our spacebar to drop another point and spacebar to drop it again. And that's how you would do it. There's two points. Now you may be wondering what I meant by the normal. Well, your normal is your outside facing for your polygon. So in this case, let's say I wanted to chop off just this top left corner. If I was to go from here to here, it's not going to chop the top left corner off. Let's go ahead and select our item and hit apply. You'll actually notice it chopped everything else but what I wanted. Why is that? Well, like I said, the normal is going to be our outward facing direction. So wherever this line is facing, it's going to cut off that part because we want this edge here, this new edge, we want that to be our new normal of our polygon, so the outside. Let's say you want to do that the opposite, because if you notice, let's say I went from here to here, well, it's facing that direction, well, let's go from here to here, well, now it's facing that direction, we're good. But let's say we kind of made a little mistake. Let's say we have that and we don't want to redo our line. We have our flip normal option. All that's going to do is flip the normal, so when I click this and I hit apply. The normal's facing this direction. It clips this part off. We undo it. We click flip normal. We hit apply. You'll notice it now flip the normal. Our normal is now facing in this direction and it clipped off everything in that direction. One thing to note, it's really annoying when you do flip normal, it doesn't flip the visual representation. You have to know 
basically, okay, which side do I want to cut off? Let's undo this back. What side do I want to cut off? I want to cut off this side. Oh, our normal line is facing the wrong way. Let's flip it, hit apply, and now it's going to cut that off. The other option is going to be split. Split, basically, you really don't need to worry about flip normal when you split. If you're going to split something, it's basically going to split along the line and give you two different polygons. So let's say we wanted this. And then we click on our polygon, our brush, and we hit split and apply. We can now go back to our perspective. And you'll now notice we have two different ones. We have this one, and then we have this one. And you'll notice that they are actually different. If we go in here, you'll notice we don't have anything really applied to that one based on our texture and our material. And that's one of the things that does happen when you are splitting based on an odd angle. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If we were to go back in here, pull it back together, go back to our top, go to here. Let's go ahead and brush clip. Let's brush clip that edge off again. Let's do something like that. Flip normal, click on here and click apply. Go ahead and click on this. We'll click on our other one and we'll move it out of the way. We'll take this one, move it out of the way. Go back to perspective. Now you'll find it's more realistic and most of it's going to work properly. It's a weird bug with edges not showing up properly from time to time, and you may have to basically rebuild missing polygons. And we've already covered how to do that. You can just click on your edges and hit create, and it'll go ahead and create the missing polygon edge. So that's our split right there. You noticed it split it right in half. Now here is a small bug. Let's say we were to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and grab another BSP box and drop it in here. And let's say we want to split it the same way we did the last one. We'll go to brush clip. We'll go and keep this the same. We'll go ahead and drop from here to here. We'll click on here and then we'll hit enter. Well, you'll notice a small problem here. Even though it tells us when we're using our brush clip, define the vertices of the dividing plane with the space bar and press enter to apply. Don't listen to it. When you hit enter, it will not split. This is an issue you're going to run into. If you just want to cut, if you just want to clip something off and not worry about keeping two things separate, use the enter key. It works fine. You notice here I can go ahead and do this. Oops. And hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and clip it. If I were to flip the normal and hit enter, it's going to clip it. This is something you're going to run into. If you just hit enter, it's just going to do a quick clip based on the default settings. These options do not apply. If you need to flip the normal or you need to split it, you need to make sure you use the apply button. That's very important. Keep in mind, I'm just using this on the top. There's nothing stopping you from going from like the left on this one, for example. And let's say we wanted to cut off the top left like that. And then we clicked on our brush. And then we hit split and apply. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. As you notice here, I went ahead and I split out that piece like that. See? And then we went ahead and we split it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be up and down. It's all based on your perspective. And again, it just makes a clean slice right through. It clips off whatever you want. So that's it. That is our brush clip option for geometry editing. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.